as night falls on Ule, he descends. Waiting until the village sleeps. Then, under the cover of darkness, makes his kill. A young Zo is his prize. But at nearly twice its weight, the snow leopard can't carry it very far. He eats what he can and returns to his rocky abode. In these open mountains, it's impossible to hide a kill. The commotion attracts the attention of another super predator, the wolf. The gray wolf in the Himalaya weighs about the same as an adult snow leopard. But wolves rarely travel alone. The pair could overpower the solitary cat. The snow leopard stands down and can only watch as the wolves eat their fill. No sooner have they left, a red fox begins to devour what he can. With food so scarce, he can't afford to miss any opportunity. But it's hard to eat a meal in peace when you could be a meal yourself. Time for the Shan to reclaim his kill from the canine scavengers. <laughs> but more scavengers wait in the wings. Magpies. The snow leopard has already lost enough. He's in no mood for sharing. The pesky magpies don't give him a moment's peace. Eventually, the Shan gets fed. The best meat now eaten, the Shan abandons the kill and leaves the cleanup crew to squabble over the remains. 